Okay, so welcome to Math Storia and let's solve this problem. So the limit of cosine to the power 3x over cosine x minus cotangent x as x approaches to pi over 2. So first we need to rewrite this equation. So we have cosine to the power 3x then over this cosine x minus the identity of cotangent x. So since cotangent x is equal to cosine x over sine x, so we're going to use this identity for cotangent x. So we have cosine x over sine x. Then simplify, so that's cosine to the power 3x over so to simplify this denominator, so we're going to use cross multiplication. So this one is over 1. So using cross multiplication, so we have cosine x times sine x. So that's cosine x, then sine x, then minus 1 times cosine x, that's cosine x, then over 1 times sine x, this one is sine x. Then we have this cosine to the power 3x times the reciprocal of this equation. We have sine x over cosine x, then times sine x minus cosine x. Then simplify, so multiply these two equations. So this is cosine to the power 3x times sine x, then over. Since we can factor out this cosine x, so put this cosine x outside. So we have cosine x, then times. Since we put this cosine x outside, so therefore, we have sine x, then minus, we put this cosine x outside, so we have this 1, so minus 1. Then cancel this cosine x, this 1 minus 1 cosine x, so this becomes 2. So this one is cosine to the power 2, then x times sine x, then over sine x minus 1. Then using this identity that sine squared x plus cosine squared x that's equal to 1 and to solve for this cosine squared x so transpose the sine squared x to the right. So we have now cosine squared x is equal to 1 minus sine squared x. So therefore, this cosine squared x is equal to 1 minus sine squared x. So we can rewrite this cosine squared x as 1 minus sine squared x then times sine x then over sine x minus 1. Then if we have this uh, x squared minus y squared which is equal to x plus y and x minus y. So therefore, this 1 minus sine squared x since 1 is the same as 1 squared so we can rewrite this equation on this way. So we have 1 plus sine x times 1 minus sine x and this sine x. Then for this denominator, so if we put negative outside, so this positive sine x becomes negative sine x because negative times negative, that's positive. And this negative 1 becomes positive 1. Then rewrite this equation as 1 plus sine x times 1 minus sine x times sine x then over 
uh, negative, then if we're going to arrange this equation, so we have 1, then minus sine x. So this time, we can cancel now this 1 minus sine x and 1 minus sine x. So we have now 1 plus sine x times sine x then over since we have this negative so over and negative 1 so from this equation that's 1 plus sine x times sine x over a negative 1 so from the given equation as x approaches to pi over 2 so substitute this pi over 2 to x so we have now 1 plus sine pi over 2 times sine pi over 2 over negative 1. Since pi is equal to 180 degrees, so therefore this pi over 2, that's 180 divided by 2, that's 90 degrees. So we can rewrite this one as 1 plus sine. 90 degrees times sine 90 degrees then over negative 1 then since sine 90 degrees is equal to 1 so we have now 1 plus sine 90 degrees that's equal to 1 times sine 90 degrees that's equal to 1 then over negative 1 and this one 1 plus 1, that's 2, times 1, that's positive 2, then over negative 1. So therefore, the final answer is negative 2. So the limit now of cosine to the power 3x over cosine x minus cotangent x as x approaches to pi over 2 is equal to negative 2.